Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Java programming tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can read a text file using Java. Now there are many ways of uh, reading a text file using Java, but we are going to see the most common way of uh, reading file. So first of all, we need to import some classes which are from uh, Java IO package. So First of all, let's uh, import those classes. So first class we need here is the buffer reader class. And this class we are going to use to read your uh, data. Okay. Now second class is the file reader which will read the file. And third is the IO exception which we are going to handle some exceptions if it's thrown by this file reader. So first of all, in my main method, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an instance of uh, buffer reader, for example, br, and I will initialize it by null. Okay, now I'm going to create a try catch block here. And uh, this block, I'm going to use to handle some exception. For example, if file reader throws some exception, then I'm going to catch it in the, okay? So catch, and I'm going to catch IO exception here, okay? So just take this IO exception, E, and then we can catch this. And for now, this is going to give you this error bubble, and when you hover over it, it will say unreachable catch block for IO exception. This exception is never thrown from the try statement body, which is true because we haven't written anything in our try block. So let's uh, write some code in our try block. So what we are going to do is we are going to initialize br is equal to new buffer reader. And in the constructor of this buffer reader, we are going to call a file reader, so file reader. And inside this, we are going to give the name of our text file, okay? So for now, I have a text file which is present in my project folder. If you know, don't know how to reach to this project folder, you just need to right click your folder, go to the properties, and in the location here, you will be able to find the path of your project, okay? So this is the same path uh, of my project and this is the file inside my project folder, okay? So I'm going to open it and this file contains some lines which I want to read from this text file and I want to print it, for example. So I will give the name of the file so if your file or if your text file is in your project folder, you don't need any extra path. So you just just write file name with the exact, uh, you know, spelling of the file name and then txt. Okay. And then in the next line, we can read from this file file. So for reading this file, first of all, I want to store it somewhere, right? So I will declare a string variable, string line, for example. And now I'm going to create a while loop to read every line. Okay, so while and inside this while loop, we are going to read our file. So just make one more bracket here. And we are going to assign the value which we read from our file using this br. So line is equal to br dot read line. Okay, which will not be equal to null, then we will get the value of each line. Okay, not equal to here. So what we are going doing in this while loop. In this while loop, we are uh, assigning the value of uh, each line which we read from the file to this line variable. And we are checking whether it's null or not. And if it's null, we are going out of the loop. 
and if it's not null we are going to uh, print this file so I'm just writing sys out and line okay which is this variable okay so I'm printing this line if this line is not null okay now once everything is done and you are done reading your file you need to close it so I'm going to use finally and if you are watching my videos you know that this finally is called when you want to perform some action whether your try block throws some exception or not this code is going to happen definitely okay so we are going to use br dot close and this will close your file okay and in here you will see it's also going to throw some exception so we can surround it by try catch block inside this finally block okay so just surround with try catch block and it's going to surround it by try catch block so I think we are done with the code uh, one more thing if you want you can just use this e dot print stack trace and it's going to print your exception details whenever this code throws okay so let's try and run the program but before this let's save this and I'm going to run this program so run it and you can see it reads all the lines from the file so this was my text file which has seven lines and it's reading all the lines from the text file okay now if you are wondering uh, you want to read a file which is not in your uh, project folder right and you want to give some path to this file here how can you give it you can give it like this so just copy the path from here like this and paste it here and with the slash backslash and this will not work because Java will uh, find it difficult to uh, read this single backslash so if you want you can just use double backslash instead of single backslash everywhere where this backslash is used and this will give the path of your text file okay so you can uh, give the path of your text file from anywhere from your computer like this okay now I'm going to save this and I'm going to run this program and it gives me the same result because it reads from the same file so in this way you can read a text file in Java using buffer reader and file reader classes I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for